Hi everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a Juliet box and album set. This is the project for the next Facebook Live class at number 11. Uh, they run on a Friday night, Alternative Fridays. This one uh, live will be Friday the 25th and Saturday the 26th of September. But you don't have to make the live class, the videos are available in the Facebook group indefinitely. So. Uh, you can always go in at your leisure and make the project follow along. Videos in the class group also include an introduction to the project, just tips on how to cut your papers, what I've used, um, and various other elements that can be added to the project. There's always a cutting guide on how to cut your chipboard, um, because we make the project from scratch, just using chipboard, card and then any decorative paper that you've got and our signature black construction tape as well which puts it all together. So um, it's a class for anybody, it doesn't matter whether you are new to crafting or you're an experienced crafter, I break the project down into steps and it's really easy to follow the cutting guide that you get when you book onto the class and follow the videos and then follow the class videos where we put the whole project together. So this one is an eight and a quarter by six and a quarter box. It's two and a half inches deep. It's got a hook lock closure, could be any lock that you choose, and a hidden hinge using our signature black construction tape at the back. Two and a half inches deep, did I say that? and I've altered it in papers from the Ephemera Queen collection by Graphic 45. So I've taken, let's bring in the collection. Here it is. Beautiful, beautiful collection. Um, bright colours, blues, pinks, greens and lemons. And I've gone for the florals and the blue. I really like that combination. So we've created a frame on the top of the box. We've got a stripy paper on the top and then an ephemera card in the frame. And I've used a Tim Holtz die just to, the project's called the Juliet box. So I've put Juliet in there. And then uh, I've gone with the same papers around the side, that beautiful lemon rose paper. And then inside, we have got an ephemera holder here in the lid. That's held in with magnets, so you can put in whatever you like, and then it sits securely in the lid. And it's just a half inch deep little box with a concertina side, two magnetic um, closures on the front. Oops and then lots of room to put pictures, ephemera, um, anything that you want to keep really with the project, all decorated in these gorgeous papers. And then it's got an acetate front on it. So I've got some ephemera cards in there and just a few photo mats. And that closes. And then there are hidden magnets at the back that correspond with hidden magnets behind the paper here. So the whole thing just clips into the lid and it doesn't fall out when you close the box. There's a little pull here as well to help get it out. And then the little album, um, it's just one and a quarter inches deep. So I've gone, I love you on the front of my album, Juliet, or let's turn it round, Juliet, I love you, <laughs> which I love. Um, so a nice little simple album on an extended spine, one and a quarter inches deep and uh, in the class, um, the purpose of the class is for you to use papers of your choice. So the cutting guide for the project is very generic. It just gives you the overall sizes of the papers that you need for each of the surfaces being decorated. And I've tried to keep this one to a minimum. Um, but you can make the pages bigger, um, you can do double fold pages, 
all of which will be covered in class two of uh, the live classes where I give you choices but this is the sort of smallest and the minimal that you can get away with and decorate uh, the project using an 8x8 pad. So we've got a nice little deep pocket on the inside cover there for photos and ephemera. The same on the back. I've used a sticker from the collection here and then the cards from the collection which are gorgeous. I've just mounted on uh, black photo frames with uh, the corners cut out with the cloud punch and then each one has a double-sided photo mat and I've used the patterns and solids from the collection just to bring the colours together. I love it. So four pages, these ones are all four inches wide. We've got photo holders on the front of each page and a double-sided pull-out mat in each. Each mat gets slightly bigger so that they're layered when the album is closed. I love these cards. Look, she's got cake. She says, be happy. Beautiful outfits. And then all of the hats here. And then another pocket at the back for ephemera. But as I say, in the class, I'll show you how to make um, a number of different pages to go in the little album. So if you love the project and you'd like to make it, hop on over to the website. I'll put the link below in the description and you'll find the links to this class, all of our Facebook Live classes and, of course, all of the supplies that I've used in the project. So I hope that's inspired you to be creative. Thanks very much for watching. Do give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel or click on that bell and then you'll uh, receive notifications of new projects and products as they come out. Bye for now.